Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Because God wants you to repent from that, brother. You understand? Because what comes behind that is lies. Right. And when, if, whether you know it or not, you don't even have to verbally say anything. When a young man see that on your neck, well, guess what he want to do? He going to wear it. And the, gender, and the cycle continues. Right. You understand? We got to quit it with the lies, brother. This is why we the last hired, the, the first fire. This is why we low on the totem pole as a people. Because we do what? We serve other gods, not the God of the Bible. <laughs> So what should you do with that thing you got on your neck? Whatever I want to. You still going to do whatever you want to? Okay, so what, one more scripture. Hold on, hold on, hold on, huh? I said, you still speaking on this. Right. I said whatever I want to do with this. Right. I didn't say what I was going to do with my life. Okay. Right. So what come behind that? I want you to understand what you represent when you wear it. Yeah, I understand. So what come behind it, though, since you understand it? What comes behind it? What we just know? Okay, but what comes behind it, bro? I want you to understand the concept. Go back to her back at night. Forgot about you neither, brother. I want y'all to stay here and finish li listen to the words of God. Go back to, to her back at chapter two. I want you to understand what comes behind it because he can't. He just went over a plethora of good things. You know what I'm saying? But you, I still want you to understand when you're wearing it, what are you doing? Read that. Habakkuk. Chapter 2 and verse 18. Oh, hold on, hold on, brother. One more, one more, one more, one more. Cause read it. What profit the graven image that the maker thereof have graven it? Uh -huh. The molten image and the teacher of lies. And a what? And a teacher of lies. And a what? And a teacher of lies. So you know what comes behind that image. What is it? Nothing. Read it again. He ain't catch it. What profit the graven image uh -huh. that the maker thereof have graven it? Uh -huh. The molten of the molten image and a teacher of lies. What comes behind that image she wearing? A teacher of lies. So like the officer just was going over, lies has come behind that because you said what? It's a, it represents life, right? We just read out of the book, this is what this is what brings life, okay? Right, read this, read this. That's the book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 22. You shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver. Okay. Hey, my brother, what's your name in the leather jacket? Rennis. Hey, Rennis, listen up. The God's going to give you the instructions on what to do with that. All right, read. That's the book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 22. You shall defile also the covering of the graven images of silver. Uh, Dennis, listen up. Read. And the ornament of thy molten images of gold. So that right there is a molten image, right? It was molten. It had to be uh, melted down to be formed. Correct? Read. Thou shalt cast them away. What should you do with that image? Thou shalt cast them away. What should Dittus do with that in image? Thou shalt cast them away mm -hmm. as a mistress cloth. As a woman that's on a period. A mistress cloth, what she do with that? She cast it away. That's how God drew that chain you got on, brother. Right. It's just as defiled and disgusting as a woman's mistress. Right? Right. Right. God right. said, cast it away. Right. You understand? That's what, this is instruction that coming out of who mouth? Our mouth? No. The Holy Bible. This God wants you to repent from that, brother. You understand? Because what comes behind that is lies. And when, if, whether you know it or not, you don't even have to verbally say anything. When a young man see that on your neck, well, guess what he want to do? He going to wear it. And the, gender, and the cycle continue. You understand? We got to quit it with the lies, brother. This is why we the last hired the, the first fire. This is why we low on the totem pole as a people because we do what? We serve other gods, not the God of the Bible. You don't, you didn't, we understand you didn't know this before you came up here, but you know it now. So in knowing it now, you're supposed to act on it, brother. That is the purpose of us going over this with you. Not just to cast stones at you or try to make you belittle you. We trying to help our people. We trying to uplift our people, but it starts with action, brother. You understand? All right, so what your question is, bro? I know you said something else. Uh, I was just saying, um, when he was talking about the trap, kind of go over. Some snares, some traps? Some snares, some traps. Okay. Okay, so give me uh, Leviticus 18 real quick. Leviticus 18 and 1. I'm going to go over, then, I'm gonna, then I won't. Uh, where's that at? Jeremiah 10. So I'm going to go over some, uh, I'm going to go over some things or some customs of the ways of the heathen, right? 
That's what you're asking about. Some of how they do, how they serve their gods. All right, read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, say and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. So it said, after the ways of the customs of the Egyptians at this time, right now we in the um, ways of the Americans. Okay, so it's all those of Gentile nations. He said, after their customs, you shall what? Shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you, shall ye not do. So God has given us clear instructions on things to go after the other nations. We should not do them. Now go to Genesis, I mean, go to uh, Jeremiah 10. We're going to go over a custom right now that got our people trapped up. We're going to go over a custom. Read that when you get it. The book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 10, start at verse 1. Yep. What's your name again, by the way? Roy. Roy? Okay, my name Nehemiah. This is Ehud. All right? Ehud. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So the house of the children of Israel is you blacks. You black men out here in America, in America calling yourself African American or black or colored or Negro, that's you. Okay? It's saying here what? What's your name again, by the way, brother? Rocky? I don't, I don't say African American. I'm black. You black, right? Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the problem with that. Where can you take a, where can you buy a plane ticket and fly to the land of black? Or what language comes behind? A, what's your language? I was born here. Right. I ain't got no other country to go to but here. Right, so my, the point I'm making with you, uh, what, Rob? Rocky. Rocky. The point I want you to understand is that black is not a nationality. Black is only a color. You understand? Because what comes behind a nationality, a language, things that people celebrate, a god that they worship, that comes behind a national that comes with a nationality. I can't call myself American because they don't believe we American. Right. So what so we we showing you right now, you are the house of the children of Israel. That's who God called you, brother. You understand? Read. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord. Say thus saith who? The Lord. So Roy, right? So I want you to hear what God got to say. He's going to go over some customs of you not to learn that would keep our people entrapped right now. Read. Learn not the way of the heathen, uh -huh. and be not dismayed at the signs of the heaven. Uh -huh. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Uh -huh. For the custom of the people are vain. What is the custom of the people? For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. So now he's going to go over the customs that he said learn not the way of, right? But you, and I want y'all to answer me this question and be honest. When we read this, I want y'all to tell me why people do this today. All right? So now go back to it. One do what? Well, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest. So this is the beginning of a custom that was kept, but God said don't do it. The first step is they go to the forest and they cut the tree out of it. All right? Read. The hands of the workmen with the axe. Uh -huh. So they got a, a workman with an axe. They chop the tree down. Chop, chop, chop. Right? Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. They decorate it with silver and gold, silver and gold. Read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. And they take that tree and they fasten it with hammers because it can't stand up on its own. Right? So they, they fasten it with hammers and nails that it, that it moves not. What is it talking about? You, Christmas, right? It, do you agree with that? Tell them who the healing is, though. We want huh? Okay, we'll get we'll get you a full definition, but I want you to be I want you to be patient as I be patient with y'all and go step by step. All right, read that again. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it. Somebody, somebody give me the uh the Zonovan Comeback Bible dictionary. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that are moved not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. So they're saying that because back then there was an old saying that if you didn't do this. They would come back. It, uh, what was his name? Tammuz. Uh, Tammuz. Tammuz. It was a saying that Tammuz had life in the tree, and if they didn't worship this custom, he would come back and do such uh, awful things to him. Nimrod, but Nimrod lived in the tree. Excuse me, Nimrod. Yeah, Nimrod. That was about Nim Nimrod. Read it again. That last part. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they must need to be carried. Why? Because they cannot go. Because this tree cannot do whatever it want to do. Read. Be not afraid of them. Be what? Not afraid of them. For they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. So the point that we wanted about it that was a trap that our people do today. And my man hit it right on the head. It's called Christmas. 
These are things God told us not to do. But why is it out of every household you go within the black and Hispanic community, they celebrate Christmas when God said not to do it? You understand? Y'all understand? Y'all understand that? Pagan rituals. God said not to do it. Cause you said a definition of heathen, right? Do you know what it is? So, okay, so let me hear your definition of the word heathen or gentile. Who the book was not written to, right? Yeah. That is the that is the uh, construct or the or the, or the definition of the word Jew or the heathen. It's not only the white man because you got a lot of our people, Asians, Asians Arabs, Arabs, real Africans. Those are the heathen nations. You understand? But in today's term, they not. I mean, and back then they wasn't called white man or Arabs. They was called no, so-called white man was Edomites, but let me get that when you get it. You got it? You got it? Read it. This is going to be Compact Bible Dictionary, page 195. Gentiles. Usually it means a non-Israelite people. So usually the term Gentile or heathen means a non-Israelite people. Why does it got the term usually in there? Because in some cases in the Bible, God referred to us as Gentiles or heathens. Because in order to be that, you, and the reason why God did that because we was living like Gentiles are heathens. One, we uh, back from his word. one is that what we we what um, we still we worship at Christmas, right? God said, "Don't do that," right? So if we continue to do that, what another one is what? Um, give me some more customs. Easter, Easter Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, all these different customs. How we live as a people. Birthday. Valentine's Day. Our sisters wear pants. The man don't wear fringes. Thanksgiving, right? So all these different things lead up to us to live like heathens today. Right. That's what I said. It's usually a non it's usually a non Israelite person. But in some cases, when you look around about people today, we live like the Gentiles. We live like the heathens, okay? So but usually in its proper context, it is a non Israelite person. Anybody that's not any other other nation that's not an Israelite, you are a heathen or a, a, a Gentile. Read on. Alright. So you understand? So even in some context of the Bible, the children of Israel was called heathens or right. Gentiles. Because they're living like them. Because they were living because like they them. Are right. right. Because they're living like them. God cast them cast us off. You understand? So what other questions you got? That's it. That's it? So you know you're Israelite. You know you're Israelite? Nah, I'm I'm learning. You learning, you got a flyer, right? You, you got a flyer. So I want you what I want you to do is look the flyer up and look into it. Okay? What you say your name was again? Rocky. Rocky. All right, my brother. So look, I got a law for you real quick. Uh, Leviticus 21 and 5, Rocky. Because I want you to understand this, Rocky. You got to keep, we got to keep God's commandments. We just read God said, learn not the way of the other nations. That's why I understood what you were saying about the heathen. We fell back from his word. Right. So we're going to give you some things that you can start on your day-to-day -day life on how you can start to live like an Israelite. All right, read that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. You hear that, Rocky? It said, neither shall you shave off your beard, Rocky. So whatever hair that you got, whatever hair follicles that can grow on your face, you must let that grow out, okay? Because you gotta be what? Uh, you gotta be a manly, a godly man. Godly men wear godly beards. Okay, you are an Israelite. You are the chosen people of God. You understand? And with that comes responsibility. And we got the responsibility is to following God's laws. Okay, read. Neither nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So, and neither are you to make cuttings in your flesh. That's going into tattoos. All right. So God is commanding the black and Hispanic man to come back to this book. Come back to your life. Because without this book, we are dead. You understand? The author just read that. Get hold that. Give me that brute form one again. Brute form one again. Because y'all got to understand, without the Bible, the black and Hispanic man, we are dead people. That's Only right. way we come back to life if we apply what's written in this book. Right. All right? Give me that when you get it. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. And the law that endured forever. How long? Forever. So even when the kingdom of heaven be established here by our, fourth, by our big brother Christ, the laws of God is still going to be going on. So these laws is established forever. Read. All they that keep it. All they that keep the commandments of God and his laws. Read. Shall come to life. Shall what? Come to life. Shall what? Come to life. So and you brothers and sisters or you brothers 
Want life, y'all got to do what? You got to keep... You got to... But more specifically, what did it say? Keep his commandments. Keep his laws, his statutes, and his commandments. And that's if you want life. But if you love them, then you will break his commandments. You understand? If you're okay with the situation and how we're living as a people, right. you will just annul what we're telling you or what we're showing you, right. what God said, and you will just live reg your regular life. Right. But if you want life, if you want life, if you want life, do what? Keep his commandments. You see that? So I pray y'all brothers got something up out of that. All right? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.